All right. <clears throat> Been working hard all day to make this happen. Here we go. I'm going to bump it a little bit. Still filling the uh, oil tank up. It's at its minimum level right now, but as you can see, my uh, poor boy method of filling it up isn't the, uh, let's see, the fastest in the world. It's good to have a tractor. All the connections are now made up. All the linkages are connected. All the hoses, belts, whistles, bells. Even got 12 gallons of oil down here and the uh, oil collection gallery that screen right there goes into the the main tank underneath instructions for this say when it's been setting for a long time just to bump it don't don't run it at full speed until uh, it gets lubricated a little bit so that's what I've been doing for the last couple hours Got all the uh, hoses up here done. It's kind of a unique situation. I never kind of understand why they're doing this. This one hose is for the clapper box, but it goes up and down through this stationary pipe and then up to the top of the column. I think they could have probably done it with just one, one, uh, one hose, but We'll see how this works. Static head over here. This head down here can't move automatically like this one does. This one can go up and down rapid and all kinds of things. This one's more manual. And that's where uh, I put the new quick connect on. It just goes right back here to the back of the... Uh, over here behind the motor. Got the electrical all buttoned up. This thing didn't have a ground to the base of the machine, so I, I put one on. And that's the back side of the pump over here. We've got linkages that reverse the, the table motion. And there's four hydraulic connections that go in here. This is the big connections that go to the big ram right here. That's the piston for the table. And then it's got three connections over there for the table oil, and the whey oil. So you can adjust the speeds for everything by turning these capstan valves. Everything on this thing was was nice and uh, loose. Here's a uh, canister with an oil filter in it. Luckily I found four of those new old stocks so we got the right ones in there. Anyway, as soon as I get it going some more I'll show you the new video of it moving, hopefully.